were dispatched on a working structure fire to uh, a building on fire. Uh, the first arriving crew noticed that uh, we had a uh, medium-sized structure, a uh, tin structure, well involved. Um, we also had a fire running because of the wind, a uh, grass fire that was rapidly moving into two other uh, buildings to the uh, what we'll call the Bravo side or the south side of the building. So there were four homes threatened, um, lines were placed on the initial alarm to make sure that we protected the exposures. Uh, we had six engines total uh, during the three alarms, uh, six engines and two trucks. And uh, we were actually short one engine because of uh, the amount of other call volume within the within the area. Um, place lines accordingly. We're able to stop fire moving to the uh, to the south side of, of the uh, the involved units and kept it to one building. Actually, we have uh, lines of demarcation in the town, and it, it could be literally one side of the street is uh, one agency, and the other side of the street is the other. Um, our alarms are set up to where. Uh, we do have an automatic aid agreement with our, our uh, con contiguous agency, which is Ceres in this case, and their engine does come on the uh, second alarm. It's a difficult fire, especially with the wind today, and uh, the lines, the tactics chosen were spot on for what we had, and uh, an exceptional job by the crews.